So we are going to do some more uh, problems on uh, factor groups before we complete this chapter. The next problem we are going to attempt on uh, the factor groups is on uh, the dihedral subgroup of the symmetric groups on four elements. And I have, I have the multiplication table um, drawn here. So the problem that we are going to do is this. Compute the sender and commutator, commutator group, subgroups of D4. This is our D4 table. These are all permutations on four elements. So the sender, for, let us see the sender first. C of uh, D4, the, those elements from D4 such that Dg is equal to G C for all G in D4. Let us take it as sigma here. So, because these are all permutations. So, definitely one of them will be the identity element which is sigma 0. See, 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 what we need to do is, um, if you take this row and this row, they are identical. 0, 1, 2, 3, mu 1, mu 2, delta 1, delta 2. 0, 1, 2, 3, mu 1, mu 2, delta 1, delta 2. There is only one more element in this table that satisfies this that is delta uh, sigma 2 you take this one and if you take this is if you take this one they are same 2301 mu2 mu1 delta 2 delta 1 mu2 mu1 delta 2 delta 1 both corresponds to del, uh, uh, sigma 2 uh, sigma 2 so definitely sigma 2 is another one if you take any other you won't get it for example if you say sigma 1 times mu1 sigma 1 mu1 sigma 1 mu1 is delta 1 but mu1 sigma1, mu1 sigma1 is delta 2. For, so, so definitely mu1 and delta um, uh, sigma1 are not in this group. It doesn't satisfy this. So like that if you check, you see that this is the only uh, two elements in the center of the group. In order to prove the next one, we need to establish one result outside this factor group and that is any group of order 4 is abelian. That result we need for the to find a commutator group. Uh, let us prove this one. It is not a part of factor group, but still we'll do a proof here. So let G is equal to E A B C for our distinct elements is a non-abelian group. 
we need to prove that this, this is not possible. So, this implies that AB is not equal to E. Why? If AB is equal to E, then BA is also equal to E. Because A will become the inverse of B. So, you can take the inverse is unique. So, AB is not equal to B because AB is different from BA. If AB is equal to BA for all, see we are taking a representative elements, not just A and B, but it, can, it could be CB, CA, things like that. And AB is not equal to B. Because if AB is equal to B, then A is equal to E. But A and E are dis different. So, and AB is not equal to A also. So, this implies G contains G contains um, E A B then you have A B because A B is not any of this then you have B A because this cannot be A B because if it is A B then it will become a, B, A. So, you have at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements here. But we already assumed that this has got only 4 elements. Meaning, G contains more than 4 elements. And that implies uh, it's, a con it's a contradiction. That implies this is a contradiction. Because order of G is equal to 4. That implies G is a B. So any group of order 4 is a B. We are going to use, make use of this result to find a commutative subgroup of D4. Now, to find the commutative group of D4, what we are going to do is, we are going to make use of the result. Um, if C is the commutative group of G and N is another normal subgroup of G then um, G over N is abelian if and only if N contains C or C is a subgroup of now here we take um, G is equal to D4 and N is equal to um, C of D4. C of D4 is the center of D4. It's a normal subgroup of G. And the order of G our n and that is um, d4 by c of d4 is equal to this is actually there are there are eight elements here and there are two elements here that is the four that implies d4 the factor group d4 C D4 is a group of four elements and that implies D4 over Z D4 
is abelian. Now we apply this rule. This is d4. This is z of d4. This is abelian. If this is abelian, then the commuter, commutator group of G is a subgroup of N. This implies subgroup, it doesn't need to be a proper subgroup. It cannot be a, uh, you know, all, all it says is, is, a, uh, is either same or a subgroup. So, this implies commutator group or you can say this implies the order of commutator group is either 1 either 1 or 2. Um, either 1 or 2 because D, Z of D4 or center of D4 contains only two elements. So it cannot be bigger than this. The commutator the commutator group of D4 cannot be bigger than this. This should contain the commutator group because of this condition. So that means uh, that means the commutator group is either just sigma 0 or sigma 0, sigma 2. But it cannot be just the trivial because D4 is non-abelian. And that implies That implies uh, the commutator group. Commutator group of D four is the center of the. So you can also say show that the center of D four is the same as it's committed. Our uh, next problem is this. Uh, let f is equal to all real, uh, the group of all real valued functions with uh, function addition as a binary operation and K be the group of or the subgroup of all constant functions, constant real value functions and H is equal to functions from F such that F of 0 is equal to 0. F of 0 is equal to 0. This is not a constant function. So all it says is it goes through the origin. Then the factor group of F over K is isomorphic to h. 
See, we are going, what all we are going to show is uh, there is a homomorphism, a bijective form of homomorphism from the factor group to this group. See, um, if you um, if you see this problem visually, the k's are all like this. These are all k's, horizontal lines. These are all k's. So this is probably k1, k2, k3, k4, k5, etc. F contains any 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 uh, real valued functions. So let us say we'll take one element from F. We'll call this as phi. Now, what are the elements of f over k? f over k contains all the cosets, meaning all collection of some functions from f. So f over k is equal to k plus k plus because plus uh, the addition is the binary operation plus phi so how 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 are these functions these functions are actually this is a collection of functions from f so those collections will be like a parallel These are all comes under the same uh, cosets that is k plus phi. All this. Okay. And what are the collections, the elements in H? H contains all the functions passing through this. So you can see one element definitely will pass through this and that is what is going to happen here. So what we are going to do is we are going to define a bijective map from uh, let us say bijective map as, uh, as gamma from f over k to uh, h by gamma of k plus phi I'm going to write it as a small phi is equal to minus phi 0 plus phi okay so this is definitely an element of this is definitely an element of f over k and this is actually an element of h because this is a function and phi of minus phi of 0 plus phi of x this is the function now, okay, of x, this is the function, actually, so you don't need to write this one, this is our function, so when you pass uh, 0 here, what will happen, phi of 0 plus phi of 0, and that is equal to 0. So what I'm trying to say here is, we will choose that particular phi from that coset that passes through 
origin. Definitely there will be one. Because you are subtracting phi of 0 from that. Okay. So this is actually our of uh, the, the this is, so these are the collections from phi plus k and this is mapped to the one which goes through origin okay now Verify, I'm not going to do this. Verify, gamma is a bijective homomorphism. And that implies f over k is isomorphic to uh, h. To prove that it is a bijective homomorphism, you have to verify the properties of a homomorphism and we have to see that it is 1, 1 and non 2. It's clearly 1, 1 and non 2. There's no doubt about it. Only thing is we, we are left with uh, verifying the homomorphism. Our next problem is uh, this. Let u is equal to all complex numbers such that uh, this is a unit circle. So this is actually so it's a mod is equal to 1. And Cn or Un. Let's take it as Un. Un is equal to cos 2 pi by 2 pi n plus i sine 2 pi n 2 pi by n sorry Then compute I u over u n. See what we need to see here is this the the we are assuming that this is a unit circle, a group of unit circle with the multiplication as the binary operation and this is going to be the subgroup of this and in fact this is going to be um, this is going to be a normal subgroup of this because this is an abelian group so any subgroup is going to be a normal subgroup so it makes sense to say the factor group of u over u n graphically what it means is This is our u. All points on this is u. U ends are n points, just n points on this. So this contains only n points and this contains infinite points. And uh, we want to see the the the, the, the elements in the uh, the uh, factor group. So what we are going to do is we are going to define a map like phi from u to u by phi of c this is a, an element from here to c n and this is also in here because all the, if C is in U, Zn is also in U. So this is a valid homomorphism. 
And what is the kernel of this? Kernel of phi is equal to elements from u such that phi of z is equal to the zero element. Right? So this is actually this is actually what? This is going to be our UN. Because because whenever it comes for every n's multiples of n's this will become zero this is actually zero this is one so this is a homomorphism with kernel with kernel uh, un so that implies that implies uh, we have a theorem which states that uh, phi is a um, uh, homomorphism from G to G prime with kernel uh, n then gamma from G over n to phi of G is an isomorphism. So here um, kernel is the, the G is U and uh, the kernel is Zn or uh, Un and that is isomorphic. This is an R2 mapping. So this is isomorphic to So the factor group U over UN is again U, is isomorphic to U, which makes sense because this is a finite number of points and this is a, a uncountably infinite number of points. So this factor group is isomorphic to Our uh, next problem is uh, show that R over C is isomorphic to U. This is actually the set of complex numbers such that its mod is So, just like we did the, in the earlier uh, problem, what we are going to do is we are going to define a homomorphism, define a map phi from R to U by phi of R is equal to cos 2 pi r plus i sine 2 pi r. Verify that it is an on to homomorphism. So the kernel of phi it's going to be all integers when you substitute integer here you are going to get the identity so that implies uh, r over z is isomorphic to phi of r and it is equal to that, is, that implies uh, the factor group is isomorphic. I'm going to leave the verification to you.
The next problem is if a finite group G has a subgroup with index equal to 2 in G, then G is not single. A group is simple if does not if, if if it does not have a proper non-trivial normal subgroup. So let N be a subgroup of of G with the index 2. That means n is normal. You already proved that. And that implies g is not simple. Because if it is, uh, if it indexes, if, if there are two uh, left or right cos, it's, then that subgroup is a normal subgroup. And if it has got a proper normal subgroup, it is not simple. Our next problem is, if G is not abelian, then the factor group G over C of G is not cyclic. So what we do is um, assume that G over CG is cyclic and let G over CG is generated by a this is a times this is one of the cosets here a times C of G So what we do is let uh, x comma y belongs to G. That implies x belongs to a to the power of m C of G and y to the power of y belongs to a to the power of n C of G for some m, some integer m and n. Because every element can be written as a, uh, every ele each element should be in one of the cosets and the cosets are generated like this because it is cyclic. So this implies x equal to a to the power of m times z1 and y is equal to a to the power of m times z2 for some c1, c2 in c of g. So that, equal, that, is, that, is, that, that implies xy is equal to a to the power of m z1, a to the power of m z2 and that is equal to because Z1 and Z2 are coming from the center of the group, you can um, commute. So that means AN2 times AM1. And that is equal to uh, Y, y times X. 
and that implies G is abbreviated. And that is a contradiction. This is a contradiction and that implies G over C of G is not very simple but very useful result. Our uh, last problem in this section is this. Um, let G be a finite group of order PQ where P and Q are distinct prime numbers. Then the center of G is trivial. Meaning that is center of G is equal to so what you do is assume that C of, um, actually you are going, we need to say that be a finite, a non-abelian group. G be a finite non-abelian group. It has to be a non-abelian group. So assume that C of G Because if it is an abelian, definitely Z of G is going to be the whole of G. So that is not what we want to prove. So assume that C of G is not equal to E. C of G is a subgroup of G and hence uh, the, the order of C of G divides um, the order of G. So order of C G actually is strictly greater than 1 and strictly less than G. This is because we assume that this is different from the trivial group and this is because it's a non-abelian group. If it's an abelian group, this is equal to this. So that means C of G must be either P or C of G equal to Q. And both of them are prime that implies C of G is cyclic. Because P or Q, P and Q are prime numbers. If, an, if a finite group of order prime number, if a finite group of order prime number, then it is cyclic. But in the earlier results, we already shown that if G is a non-abelian group, then the center of the group cannot be cyclic. So this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction. to the previous result. And that implies C of G has to be G. 
That is the reason we did the earlier problem. Okay? 